So let's see what tomorrow brings uh, for both of us, Riolu. Ah, but we're not quite going to the next day yet, by the looks of things. Oh, well, I guess I was wrong um, earlier on in this session saying uh, I'm sure we'll see the last of Team Skull. Uh, turns out they're back. Chief, we were really put in our place on that last expedition. Wigglytuff wrecked us, and I'm not about to let it go. So humiliating. I need payback. One way or another. But to be brutally honest, we don't stand a chance against Wigglytuff. Ugh, I'm so furious, it's burning me up. Whoa, there's got to be some way we can get back at them. I'd settle for picking on wimps. Oh, hey, instead of Wigglytuff, how about we take revenge on the wimps in that Team Dynamo? Great idea. And we know that Team Dynamo is wimpy. Hmm. Don't be so sure, guys. But I was really hoping I'd see the last of them, but uh, I suppose maybe that's wishful thinking, that. But, uh, well, if they want to pick a fight with us, I'd say bring it on. Anyway, it's a new day. Let's see what today brings. Do our normal uh, routine there. Let's see what the jobs are for today. Before you get to work today, I'd like you to run an errand. Okay. Uh, go to Kecleon Market and ask if they plan to stock perfect apples. Okay, fair enough. Or at least it can, but the Guildmaster raids the storage when we're not looking and uses up our supply. <laughs> oh, don't we know. It's just too much work. So we could go buy them. Okay. Alright, so fair enough. So it looks like it's just mostly normal jobs today. But uh, with the added uh, addition of... Just... Um, grabbing... Uh, well, just inquiring about perfect apples. Also, just a quick look in the diaries there, just in case there's anything new, but looks like there isn't today. Right, well, seeing as we've got uh, some simple jobs to do, we might as well um, have a little wonder. Uh, let's see what's new on the job bulletin board. Find a max elixir, find a treasure for a brown gummy. Uh, a rank job at, at Mount Horn. For a gold ribbon, that's kind of tempting actually. A blue gummy. And helping my Pokemon search in the foggy forest. Well, this is for a gold ribbon, so I'm taking that. Uh, how are you doing, Sunflora? A wealth of hints and tips for exploring, too. Nice, alright. Well, hopefully, we'll actually find uh, Dusk Noir. Unless Dusk Noir was in some random place I didn't actually, I somehow didn't bother to check uh, the other day, but uh, um, we'll see. We'll see where we'll find Dusk Noir today. Ooh. Well, if you're confident, go for it. Right, anything new here? So, retrieve a stolen item from Mount Bristle. Well, I've got the uh, outlaw job still to do there. That's with the Pokemon that managed to get away, thanks to stupid spawning. Uh, let's see, 200... Mist... Ooh, actually, looks like we might be able to recruit Ariados there. That could be interesting. And a mystery reward for this one as well, at Warful Cave. In fact, there's two... Uh, Bandit jobs set um, outlaws uh, bandit jobs uh, like outlaw uh, jobs to do at Waterfall Cave. You know what? I've got room for both of them. Ooh, gold ribbon. I think I kind of want to hold off on the A ranks for now. You know what? Aerodactyl and Bronzong. You know what? We're gonna take both of them. 
we are going to take both of them and hopefully we'll actually uh, be able to get both of them without one of them getting away. Right, so that's the random jobs. Let's quickly head on over to Kecleon Market. Oh, hey guys. Just lying here takes too much effort. <laughs> oh, really, guys? Um, yeah, you know what? It was too much work. We'll leave it at that. So we won't tell you the entire truth. We'll just uh, pretend it was just uh, too much work. It's probably too much work for um, uh, to try and explain to them. And hey, here's Dusk Noir. Hello there, you're from the guild if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we're Team Dynamo. We work at the guild. It's great to meet you. So what are you doing in town, Dusk Noir, sir? Shopping? No, no, simply enjoying a chat. I held him down. The great Dusk Noir is so very famous. We started a conversation. And what a surprising talk. The great Dusk Noir is so worldly and wise. I'm thoroughly impressed. I guess the rumours are true. Dusk Noir, sir, you really must be as knowledgeable as they say. May I ask Ryu, Ryolu, what can I do for you? Have you come to shop? Oh yes, fine merchandise, fine wares. Sorry, no, we came to ask you something today, not shop. You see? Hmm? I see, perfect apples. I am sorry to disappoint you. We have no plans to stock perfect apples. Oh, alright. That's too bad. Chatot will be disappointed with this news. Oh, Azuro, hurry! Wait for me! Oh hey, it's the Marrow Brothers. The Marrow and Azuro Brothers, rather. Hey, long time no see, buddies. Yeah, what's the rush? Oh, that's right, yeah, you're still looking for that lost item, and... That's right, the drowsy was like, well, tricked you into looking for the item only to try and find this lost item, only uh, to, um, well, try and, well, only for, for uh, drowsy to trick you. I completely forgot about that, actually. An item called Water Float. Now that is quite the precious item. Yes, that's why we've been looking hard for it a long time. And then someone said they saw a water float on the beach today. We're rushing to the beach now. Uh-oh, it's those uh, guys again. Juicy tidbit. Well, ho ho, could be useful for our plan. We'll bring the chief up to speed, then we'll then get the jump on them. Hmm... Yeah, we better follow them very quickly once we're done with this conversation. I've never heard of a water float. What purpose does it serve? A water float is an item... Uh, so, so only uh, an item for Azura then, alright, fair enough. It can only be obtained by trading precious treasures again and again. An exceedingly rare item. Is that so? Our line of work is buying and selling, but we have never heard of it. It must be exceedingly rare to sell such a rare item. I'm afraid such a day will never come. To sell? Oh, I just remembered. We have to report back to Chatot about the perfect apples. Let's go back to the guild. What? They have no plans to stock perfect apples? Ah, what am I supposed to do now? Um, we could go get some perfect apples for you at Apple Woods. What? You're joking! You've previously gone to Apple Woods. You failed utterly. Well, that's only because Team Skull got in our way. You two were outstanding on our recent expedition. I recognize everything that you've done for us. But the incident with the Guildmaster and the Perfect Apples... It was a slightly traumatic incident for me. 
I suppose I'll have to find the perfect apples myself. But other than that, we'll just uh, look for random jobs. But really, I think we should go and go to the beach just to see what's going on because I'm a little bit worried about what could potentially happen to uh, the Marilyn and Azura brothers. Yeah, let's quickly go down there now. Although, interestingly, they're not here. Okay, I guess they're not to be found. Maybe they found it or something, I don't know. But uh, they're not there, so in that case then I'll just do a quick bit of inventory management. And all that good stuff, and then do some random jobs. Oh, hey Dustmore. Good day, you're from the guild. I've been getting acquainted with your treasure town. This is an excellent place. The climate is quite, uh, quite pleasant. The town is well served by shops. The quality of life here must be cheery and charming. Why, it's so welcoming, I might ha I might like to settle here myself. Oh, fair enough. Right, quick bit of inventory management. Okay, inventory management done, and... Yeah, looks like, um, I'm just talking to Riolu here. Yeah, it's not our fault. Yeah, totally. We've just never got a chance to explain it to Chatot. Uh, but we should deal with jobs from the, uh, the bulletin board. Okay, so no mention of Maril and Azura. So I'm guessing for now, I guess we're just going to take care of some random jobs, which I guess is fair enough. Um, so let's see. I've got quite a few jobs in... Uh, Waterfall Cave. In fact, all of them are... All of them are... Um, outlaw jobs. So, I'll tell you what, let me just suspend that one, and we're going to activate all the ones in Waterfall Cave. <laughs> because why not? Could be interesting. Let's do all of them. Uh, let's have a look at the items that I've got. I've just brought a few extra items, like a few blast seeds. Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. I've got a, a, a box to open up. That's right. I'll tell you what, let's just quickly do that now. Do I have enough money? Yes, I do. Uh, that's the wrong shop. I forgot I had um, a, a box to open up, so let's just quickly get this appraisal done. So let's see what's inside. A cipher fang. All right, cool. Another item to have, so let me just store it before I forget. So let's, uh, yep, just store the one item. And actually, thinking about it, I should actually bring potentially some other orbs if I'm chasing down some uh, outlaws. So let me bring a faux seal orb as well. Just to uh, pause them. But I've got a few other... Um, Uh, items as well to stop any uh, outlaws that might run off. I should have brought that orb with me thinking about it when doing that other outlaw job but I wasn't paying attention to the job list so uh, that's that. Uh, let me have a quick look at the job list again. So uh, Arrest Aerodactyl I don't think any of them are actually going to run away. It doesn't sound like it but uh, maybe I'm wrong but we'll see. Anyway, let's head to Waterfall Cave with, uh, with the both of us as well as um, Starly and other three. So let's go to Waterfall Cave. Hey, I've leveled up now. Nice. Okay, we found our first outlaw. It's the Aerodactyl. So I should be able to... Uh, take care of you with my super effective moves. Oh yeah, that was easy. <laughs> nice. Oh well, that was uh, an easy one to take care of. Uh, but of course we still got some more uh, outlaws to uh, chase after. And we found the next one. Ooh, it's a monster house. Okay. Well, luckily... I have brought a faux seal up, so let me just temporarily use this just to just pause everyone for a bit while we 
make our plans. I'll move over here. Everyone can't move, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to use Bubble. I'm going to focus on the Bronzong. Because I think Bronzong will be the priority for now. Okay, Bronzong's no longer paused. Okay, looks like all the Pokemon... Oh no, some of the Pokemon are still paused. Also, probably worth actually just temporarily changing tactics here. Because all the... Uh, uh, everyone else doesn't seem to be uh, doing much apart from Bullifree. So... You go after foes for now, even though you are getting a bit weak. Oh, wrong attack. Okay, good job there, Snarly. Okay, we're slowly but surely getting rid of some of these Pokemon. Okay, you decided to go after me. That's fine. Okay, good. At least we're taking care of the Bronzong. But we've still got a bunch of Pokemon to... No, we don't want to leave the dungeon. Uh, we want to continue. But we need to... Finish off these Pokemon. Just looking at Butterfree's health. It might faint. But that's okay. I do have some Reviver Seeds. So I'm not too concerned. Okay, yeah, Starly got hit. That's okay. I've got a few Reviver Seeds. And thankfully, it looked like Poliwag actually tried to attack me. Which is fine. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We only uh, used up one... Uh, we only used up one Reviver Seed, so that's okay. I might as well eat that for no good reason. And now that's taken care of, I'm just going to change everyone's tactics to let's go together and then find the final um, outlaw. Wooper wants to join. I can't remember if I've already recruited Wooper. So I'm going to recruit you anyway. So we'll send you back for now, Wooper. I can't remember if I've already recruited you, so uh, we'll recruit you anyway just in case. Oh hey, Starly leveled up. There we go, getting a bit stronger. And thinking about it, it probably wasn't surprising that he did get knocked out by one of the Pokemon from that monster house because, um, yeah, you guys are a little bit lower level compared to us, so probably should have bared that in mind, but ah, then again, could have been a lot worse. Right, let's proceed. Was it this floor? No, it's not. I think it's a later floor. That's okay. Okay, we found the next outlaw. So, yeah, that's not going to do a lot of damage. This could be bad for me. So, I'll tell you what. Starling, you can go after foes again. And Riolu, you can do the same. And actually, you know what? I wasn't going to do this, but uh, Butterfree, you can as well. But I'm also going to change your moves. Uh, so, yeah, you can use, like, Poison Powder if you want. I think that will work, so you can use that as well. Uh, apparently, I did not activate any of these uh, other moves for uh, Riolu, so that's awesome of me. <laughs> Should have noticed that sooner. Well, but who used Quick Attack? Oh, it must have been Starly, because I was going to say, someone did use Quick Attack, it must have been Starly. Anyway, uh, I should have thought of that sooner, but never mind. At least I'm taking the time now just to do, do this to uh, check whether everything's all right. Um, I know it's not going to do much damage, but I'll just get you on a ranged attack. And that knocked out um, Executor. Nice. Um, we'll leave the dungeon, but I need to remember to change our tactics to uh, just change it back to everyone goes together. Okay, 
and now we go. So we got 250 and a vial seed. All right. And 30 uh, explorer points. And we've also brought in Bronzong for the arrest. Hey, an egg. Nice. Uh, the egg will be cared for by Chansey Daycare. Check on it every so often. Nice. All right, that's our first egg. We'll definitely have to keep an eye on that. And finally, we got Executor. All right, we managed to bust three uh, outlaws in one dungeon. And there's our delicious gold ribbon. That's easy money. And Swords Dance. Ah, didn't I sell uh, the Swords Dance uh, TM uh, during the expedition? Well, there we go. I've got it back. So, yeah, I think I ended up making the right decision to sell it after all. <laughs> uh, I know this was pure, like, RNG and luck that I got Swords Dance. But, um, that's the way it goes. Alright, that was a pretty successful day. Oh, hold on everyone. Oh, what's up, Chatot? Before we start dinner, there is something I must share with you. Oh, not again. I mean, last time he did that, you were uh, you were announcing the expedition, so... I mean, we'll, forgiving, we'll forgive you for that, but I'm not sure about this announcement. <laughs> Quiet, please! Ahem. No, we just received word of this. Another time gear was stolen. Yikes, yes, another time gear. Another one got stolen? Uh, is it maybe the one in Fogbound Lake? No, it wasn't. The stolen time gear was not from Fogbound Lake. It's apparently from elsewhere. But that's the second time gear to be stolen. Well, at least there's a consolation. At least it wasn't that fog-bound lake. Okay, one thing very clear. You must never tell anyone what you witnessed during our expedition. Understood? <laughs> I don't have a big mouth. <clears throat> yeah, sure, Loudred. <laughs> okay, okay, quiet, everyone. Sorry to keep you waiting. Without further ado, on your marks, get set, ciao. Because we did see a little cutaway, I think, after the expedition of another time gear getting stolen, but now it's been officially confirmed uh, to the guild. That's two now. I can't imagine who'd be stealing them. What would anyone want with the time gears, anyway? I just don't understand. I don't know either. But when I was at Fogbound Lake and saw a time gear for the first time, When I saw the time gear, why did my heart start pounding so wildly? I must be reading too much into this. My pulse raced when I saw the time gear. And the time gear's being stolen? No, there's no connection at all. You know, when I think about it, Jono, I get this feeling that our expedition to Fogbound Lake took place a long time ago. Wasn't the view fantastic? It was like being in a dream. I wonder how Yuxi is doing. I wonder if he's well. Ooh, speaking of Yuxi, I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have trusted them. Soon after they left, another Pokemon would come. But this one, it stole the time gear. Oh. The mysterious shadow again. I should have done it. I should have taken their memories when I had the chance. 
I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but you're wrong. No one led me here. No one told me about this place. I've known about the presence of a time gear here for a long time. It's that grove oil again. I have no quarrel with you, but I am taking it with me. The third time gear. Just what does that grove oil want with the time gear gears? I'm guessing all will become apparent at some point, but this is concerning. Especially considering this it's the the time gear the, the new time gear that's stolen is at Fogbound Lake, so that's a huge concern. Yikes, that's gonna be um, some uh, pretty devastating news when that reaches town. But um yeah, we're going to have to wait and see what happens with that. But I'm going to leave this recording session for today. So, yeah, a bit of a, uh, just a bit of a catch-up uh, recording session today. These uh, last uh, few episodes, just to uh, have a little chat with everyone in town, just to um, see what's what and check out some new things as well, taking care of a few jobs. But hopefully some new adventures will be around the corner, it's, including hopefully some updates regarding Marrow and Azuril. And the fact that I'm worried that um, Team School seem to be planning something as well. So hopefully uh, the next exciting adventure is just around the corner. But for now, I'm going to end this video now by saying thanks very much for watching everyone. And until next time, I shall catch you all later.